Hi, welcome. This is an introductory video for how to use the Pasco Capstone software for the first time, which you generally do for Physics 121 for the first time in your graphical analysis and freefall lab. So when you log in, you go in, it comes in, you've got your basic background over here, your icons, some of these icons will be different, but you're looking for the Pasco Capstone icon. Double click. You've got two different types of interfaces that you, your sensors plug into and those go into the computer automatically. So what you want to do is you want to go in and after the capstone software opens up, go over to where it says hardware setup, click once, it opens up the options and then take a look at the physical box that is on your countertop and see which sensor plug it's plugged into. In my case here for the example here, I've got it into sensor one. So I'm gonna on the picture of the interface, I'm gonna click on there and then ask me which sensor I want. In this particular lab, we're gonna go with a photo gate so I can click on it directly or I can type PH to get a smaller list and click on it. Since the photo gate has some options, that shows up and I'm gonna open up the timer setup. Now the steps are right in the lab manual, so I'm not gonna go through them very fa uh, very much, but generally you'll just keep on clicking next, confirming yes, that's fine, next, that's fine. What type of timer? We're gonna be using a picket fence. That default is fine, so we'll hit next. And then this is where in your lab you would actually measure your flag set spacing. So if your flags are 0.04 centimeters, uh, meters apart, so that would be four centimeters, 0 0.04 meters, then that's what you type in, okay? You know, your flag spacing is the distance it goes from the start of your first black to the start of your next black, okay? Hit next, time, and you're done, okay? Now to close things over, you would just hit that again. Open it, close it. The data summary is also a good place. You're going to be modifying this this year. In this case here, I'm going to ask you to hit on the position, go into the icon to change things. One of the things we're going to get you to change is to give one more sig fig. So instead of two places after the decimal, that's three. In your lab itself, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating like data tables and graphs. The easiest way is to just find this one and just click on it and it'll automatically get created. So because the hardware is set up and the sensors are set up, what you have is you will have data that will collect data on speed, acceleration, and position. Photo gates do not indicate uh, direction, so it is only the scalar quantity speed instead of velocity. So because it's going to be in there, you can choose to graph it. So as the data is collected, it'll be graphed automatically. Speed, time, over here, we can do this uh, block event times, block event position, block event position, block event times. You can keep on changing these. The photo gate, what it does is it will only take data when there is something in between the photo gate, something that blocks the light. If I hit record right now, because nothing is in there, nothing shows up. I'm going to wave my hand in the middle of the photo gate right now as I'm talking. And what's happening is as it senses my hand enter and leave the photo gate, I'm going back and forth, it's recording data. As soon as I stop, it stops taking data. And then you can hit stop there. You can move your data around. You can do things like um, highlight part of your data or not, or you could move this and change the size and highlight all of it. You can do things like use a uh, linear fit. In this case here, you would use the pull down menu to turn the linear fit on. You could turn the whole thing off or on. The linear fit gives you information uh, right there about the slope, which in this case would be the speed and uncertainty and a correlation constant right here. Okay. Yours will not be a straight line because yours will be accelerating. So you can click on the box and delete it um, and keep on going. You're also going to be doing things like you're going to be labeling things, position versus time, and you'll be labeling your data table and your graph as well. To create a new one, you can create a new table, uh, to page just by hitting this one right here. You can see add page. You can also create things by hitting and dragging over the table and go over here, click and drag, and that'll grab things as well. 
So if, in this case here, if I want time and speed, one thing that shows up is you'll notice that it doesn't actually show up with everyone because the speed is going to be a, a difference between two events. And that's why we've got this little bit of a staggering pattern. So if you've got nine points with position, you'll have eight velocities and seven accelerations. That's all I'm going to go over right here. You will, in the end, if you want to, you can go in and save this. You don't have to. It's optional. Um, you've gone over the data summary, timer setter, hardware setups. That's pretty much the emergency stuff. And I'll stop. Good luck with Physics 121.